Welcome back to the garage guys and I've got a very quick update on a DRZ. She's back, but let me tell you all about it. Some of you that follow me, the channel, uh, know that my bike, the Suzuki DRZ 400 Supermoto has been stolen and it was pretty much, pretty much last year, exactly the same time of year, but just last year. And it was stolen from uh, just outside of my house, uh, which is wrong in so many ways. I mean, not only somebody invades your uh, privacy, your property, but they take away the things that you love. And in that case, that was the, the Supermoto, the, the bike I really, really enjoy riding. And I had a special connection with this bike. Not only Johnny Cactus had it and Moto Mirius, I bought it off him, uh, but I just had so much fun with this bike and it was very, very personal to me. So I really was heartbroken what happened. I have obviously reported the crime to the police. Uh, with very little hope, well let's say no hope at all of seeing the bike again. Uh, to my surprise about 10 days, maybe two weeks after the crime has been reported, uh, I got a call from the police and uh, is, the bike has been found and recovered in Leicester. So it was stolen in Peterborough and recovered in Leicester. Obviously I went over there you know, the next day, picked it up, you know, paid the £150 uh, fee for recovery and uh, put a bike back on my truck and put it back in the garage. At the time the bike was stolen, it was uh, registered in Soren. Uh, I was not using it for over three months and had no petrol in a petrol tank and the battery was completely flat, which I think didn't help the thieves, you know, trying to hotwire it when they, uh, when they go on that, their end, you know, whatever that was. Uh, why they dumped it in Leicester, from Peterborough to Leicester, what they did with it in between, I don't know. Uh, there was some damage to the motorcycle, obviously, uh, but nothing that I cannot fix. Let me show you. There she is. Uh, you guys probably will ask why it took me so long, uh, nearly a year, to, to start working on it well. Uh, shortly after this, you know, the life went upside down. I was moving house. I was moving workshop and busy with this new place. Uh, so this has to go on the, on the back burner. But now I got the workshop sorted uh, so I can start working on this bad boy. Main damage... Uh, these stupid idiots, because that's how I have to call them. If you've seen the video, they're just fucking idiots. Uh, obviously, they ripped off the uh, the ignition um, to hotwire the bike. They completely destroyed the uh, petrol cap and the petrol tank. In the process, I kind of hammered it back to place. I'm hoping I can I can save it. I can uh, do some more filing over here and I order a new cap. So I'm hoping I don't need to buy a new petrol tank, but we'll see. If I need to buy one, I'll, I'll buy one. You know, try to keep the cost to the minimum for the time being. They also dropped the bike on the left hand side when they were loading into a van. As a result, the, uh, the clutch lever is bent and the um, uh, gear, gear lever, uh, it's kind of sharp. It's a kind of bad design from Suzuki, but you know, that's bent. I can bend it back into place. But that pierced the, the stator cover, uh, engine cover box. Uh, luckily, I've got the uh, spare engine. As you know, I replaced the engine not long before it was stolen. So I've got the casings with the aluminium protectors on it already installed. Uh, I didn't have it on the new engine, uh, on the replacement engine, that's why, you know, that pierced it. That can be fixed with liquid metal, but I've got a replacement one, so I just whack it on there. It's just the cost of a gasket, which is a 5 iron, and a little bit of oil, which I'm going to change anyway. Uh, that's not a big deal. In the process, they uh, they managed to rip off the one of the plastic uh, covers here, fairing, part of a fairing. That cost me £10 to replace second hands, I already got it ordered. And they ripped off the indicators in the back, and obviously the number plate... Uh, but all in all, it's it's not that bad, you know, it's not completely trashed. The frame is straight, the forks are straight, it's not been crushed badly, it's not been damaged uh, other than, you know, what I've shown you. I managed to get it started, uh, very briefly, I checked the oil level, I top it up with oil. Uh, spread some easy start on the uh, air filter and she, she starts over, you know, put a new battery there and she starts over. She was running for like two seconds, I switched it off, I'm gonna do a full service on it and hopefully uh, get them back on the road in no time. There are two reasons I didn't want to uh, scrap the bike, because the insurance company would most likely return the bike off. Uh, well, reason number one is I got very much sentimental value to it. Call me stupid, but I got attached to my bikes, especially this one, it's got you know, it's so much fun. I'm not gonna go to all the history of it, but I really got sentimental value for the bike, so I'd rather have the motorcycle than the money that the insurance would offer me. On top of that, uh, my excess for this bike, for the insurance, was £450, which is quite a lot. Um, but I paid £150 for the recovery, 
uh, need to spend probably another hundred pounds no more than that to replace these parts and I can do the work myself so all in all I'm still more or less 200 quid you know better off than having that written off you know and paying the excess and getting the money I would never replace that bike you know for the money they would offer me back for it so I uh, just decided to keep it you know and once it's MOT'd I just need to send some pictures to the insurance company and it'll be insured back on the road taxed and ready to have some fun it does look very sorry for itself very beaten up and uh, not very attractive for a supermoto uh, but for those of you who follow the channel you know i've replaced the engine and while i was doing that i stripped everything down completely to bare frame repainted the frame and rebuilt every component from ground up you know with uh, brand new or refurbished parts or cleaned up parts so i know i know there is a lot of work went to this bike and it may not look great at the moment, needs a good clean as it's covered in the powder for um, for taking of fingerprints. It's completely covered in that because police obviously uh, was trying to, to to see who, you know, whether they can match database on it. So it's completely covered in a silver powder for, uh, for fingerprints. So it needs a good clean and it needs a good service. But other than that, it's, uh, it's exactly the same as I remember it. Great fun bike. I know the chances of getting bark recovered by the police is probably I probably win the lottery more often than having that happen but you know I'm happy she's back here and I'm working overtime to get her ready for the MOT before the end of the month hopefully that's the plan anyway so guys again thank you very much for watching thank you for your kind comments rock hard have a beer and we'll see you very very soon